Chef Dad hunt, first day, opening day, Pop's got his deer. Beautiful. We got meat in the freezer. Hey everybody, welcome to Chef Dad, and this is my 2024 Deer Camp Heart and Tenderloin Meal. So many memories built that hunting camp. Good mule deer hunt for me and my dad. This will be base camp for us. Pond right over here. We'll go up, take a look at the cabin. Got a nice gas grill here. Let's take a look inside. I think we'll be able to manage here for a few days. Pretty nice cabin. Yeah, you see him, Dad? Yeah, I got him. Put down! On the trail. More blood. Oh, there he is. All right. Whoa. There he is. Cut out a tenderloin for dinner tonight. These are the tenderloins right here. Two beautiful tenderloins. Feel that center line there? Right up the spine. We're just going to peel it away from it. We want them to get clear down. And come over the top. Little cut free. Cut right down that side there. Tenderloin will just peel right out. So there's a tenderloin from Pop's Deer for dinner tonight. Uh, we're back at camp. You know, we're roughing it out here. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the heart cleaned up and some tenderloin. Okay, here's the heart. As you can see, it needs to be cleaned up. And you can see right here, dead shut the end of it right off so we're going to go ahead and clean this up split it open and get everything off of it that we do not want okay, as you can see there's a bunch of different ventricles in here and we need to split each one of them open get it laid out and get them all cleaned out You don't want that blood in there. All these are the fibers that are making that heartbeat. So we need to get those off because they will not they will not chew very well. Okay, you can clean up any of the fat that you don't want. And anything that looks potentially bloodshot, just get rid of it. You get all these veins on the outside. Go ahead and split those. You don't have to do that. But what's going to happen is it's going to have a gamey, gamier flavor, and it's going to have a penny, classic penny, copper flavor. Not after that. We want the flavor of the the venison, the heart, the venison heart. You got some tenderloin here. Don't need any of that fat. Don't have to do much to the tenderloin. You just clean it up. I did cut a little extra meat. But it's going to actually stay with, that's the tender one. This extra piece that I cut off there, it's just as tender, it's just not part of the tender one. So we're going to go in with some Chef Dad smoked salt, cold water. Okay, now we're just going to let them soak. That's going to draw the rest of the blood and give it a little bit of flavor because that's Chef Dad smoked salt. But that really wasn't for the flavor, it's just to draw the blood out. So they're all cleaned up. All we're gonna do now is let them sit in the fridge till we get back from our evening hunt. There's a big buck up there, Mike. Get him, get him, get him. Nice <laughs> buck. Woohoo! <laughs> Fucking monster. Oh, four cobra inside, three on the Look other. at Look that. Wow, <laughs> dude. That's a big deer! That's a beauty right there, buddy. All right, hunting season. Mule deer season's over. We got interrupted last night, and I had to go and get my buck. This is what the heart looks like after it's soaked. But we don't need any of that fluid, so we're going to drain all that off. You can see anything that was not submerged has this red to it. Don't worry about it. You're fine. Okay, we're going to get the tenderloin and the heart all cut up here. 
because they are going to cook together. So first, we're going to start by cutting up this heart. You want to be you want to cut this this way. Fibers are running. Most of the fibers, anyway, are running this way. So these are going to be super long strips, but we don't want super long strips. What we want is pieces about like that. If you got a big chunk of fat, you can keep it if you want. Especially with mule deer though, you might not have your favorite flavor. Now we're going to move on to the tenderloin. Same thing, I want the tenderloin somewhat dried off. Tenderloin, muscle fibers are all running this way. You want to cut against the grain. Try and keep everything consistent. It's about the same thickness as the heart. There's one tenderloin and the heart out of my dad's deer. What we need to do is get our batter ready because, not batter, our dredge ready because we are going to fry these. For this dredge, it's super simple. I'm gonna work with what I got. So we're gonna go in with all purpose flour, salt, pepper, garlic. Chef dad smoke salt. Cup, cup and a half, two cups, don't matter. A healthy pinch of some Chef Dad smoked salt. I'm actually gonna do two healthy pinches. Now we need some garlic. So about that much garlic and pepper. This is coarse pepper. So let's get all that mixed up. We'll dump all these right on in. And now, give it a shake. Make sure everything gets covered. And as they get a little damp, we're gonna shake it again and get it all covered again. So right here we have some canned potatoes from my dad and we've got some green beans, canned green beans also from my dad. Uh, I'm gonna use the liquid from this and I'm gonna cook these. And I'm also gonna cook these, but I'm gonna turn this into mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna show you that. Green beans are simple lift that side up so we're going to take these green beans we're going to put them right into this pot teat them up when we're ready this potatoes got liquid in them here i don't want all that liquid so i'm just going to dump out that liquid and dump them on in so now we're going to turn these both on a nice low heat go ahead and get ready to fry our heart and back strap or tenderloin sorry so we don't need a whole lot of oil in here but we do need to have enough that we can make some gravy when we're done. So we're just going to coat the bottom of the pan. I'm going to grab some of this Kerrygold butter because it is the best butter I can get. Not a lot of potatoes, but you know what? If you want good mashed potatoes, put butter in it. Don't mess around. I got this little masher thing. It's not meant for this, but that's what we're going to work with. So I'm just going to work down on this. Just do your potatoes until all your butter gets incorporated. I'm just gonna cover that back up, let it set. Okay, that's about all we can get in there. We're gonna let them fry, and then we're gonna flip them over, let them do the other side, and then we'll put them in the oven and keep them warm. Okay. As soon as you start to get some color on that back side, you're just gonna flip them all over. So it should just be starting to turn a little brown on that back side. Got them all flipped over. We'll bring it back when it's time to put that that batch in the oven. Okay, being as this is the first batch, I'm calling them dead. These are going to sit in the oven for quite a while, but you see the underside did get a good browning. So we're going to get all these out of here. Let's get the next batch on. Same thing, we're just looking for that color. And then we're flipping, as you can see after you flip them. They do darken up a little bit. Okay, the same thing when these get the color that you want. We're gonna transfer them down to the oven, which we've got just on warm. You can see we got the color we needed on the other side. Okay, making the gravy. They'll tell you that you need equal parts oil and flour. To make gravy. 
you know, with all the culinary people. You're, we're at deer camp. We're going to do what we want. We're just going to make it right. Get that flour incorporated in with your oil. Okay, just keep mixing and we're going to go in with our half and half. Because we need healthy gravy. Don't stop mixing. Turn it to the top. Keep it moving. Yeah, let's give it a little taste. Oh yeah. Okay, one additional step I'm going to do is I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of butter at the end. I want it to be glossy and velvety. Make sure your heat is off. If it's not, it will not. Make it velvety, it'll break it. And there we go, we got our gravy all done. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble a couple plates, one for me, one for dad. We're gonna eat. This is perfect. After a real tough hunt, we're gonna treat ourselves to some of the most delicacy parts of this deer. All right, everybody. This video, YouTube pick for you. This one I picked for you. Hit the subscribe button over here. Appreciate all of you. Mm, very good stuff. Mm, piece of tenderloin. Don't get any better than that. No, don't.